Welcome back to another video. This time from the Malaysia facility, we are going to highlight all the miscellaneous snakes that do not fit into any of the previous categories. I am going to start with my king rat snakes, and there's a really good chance I'm going to get bit, but unlike other YouTubers, I am going to try my best not to. So this is one of our king rat snakes. This is a female. So she's getting close to breeding size. Not quite, she still has some growing to do, but she's getting there. We have a total of four at this time. We have 2.2 and I'm going to work. There it goes, she got me. <laughs> so I'm gonna show you guys all four animals. And this is one of our males and he's really worked up, but I can get him to chill. These are really, really hard to get to relax. <laughs> so this is one of our males, really pretty. I like the pattern, has a lot of growing to do, but it's here in Malaysia and it's doing quite well. So this is one of our bigger males, very nice banded one. One of my really favorites, I like it a lot. Huff and puff, so far no biting. but that is a nice looking animal. And I have one more to show you. So this is our last female. She is deep in shed. I'm not gonna bother pulling her out. She's a really pretty snake, but of course right now she is not at her nicest looking. So that is it for Elafic Carnata King Rats. And Apalachicola king snakes. I have a small group here. This happens to be a male. And there's a really good chance that these might bite me too, just out of feeding response because they love to eat. And they eat snakes. And this whole place smells like snakes. <laughs> so, but we don't feed them snakes. And this is our other male. We have 2.4 total. Yes, I know, you want to eat. Everything is food. Okay. So now we're with the females. There are four of them. This is the first female. This is the second female. And this is female number three. They're all a little bit different. And the last female of the Apalachicola Kings, female number four. So I know it's a really random thing to have in a Malaysia breeding facility pure Apalachicola king snakes, but I just think that these are the absolute most beautiful of the king snakes. And they're really hard to find the real ones. There are so many crossed up king snakes out there. It's just mind boggling, but luckily I was able to find the six specimens that I did. I secured them when they were there and I sent them over here and so they're here. So. The, the market for stuff like this in Asia is really strong and I almost feel like this is like, a, like Noah's Ark preserving the pure stuff because I feel like the US is just hybridized and crossbred all this stuff to make morphs. So we are not going to be doing that here, but I don't know, I like them. When you have a facility, I guess you can fill it with whatever you want, right? <laughs> so Apalachicola Kings. Okay, and we have three Ganyasoma jansenai. So I'm just gonna show you one. The other two are paired together. I don't wanna bother them, but really, really pretty. This one is, has a lot less black on it. It's a very interesting light color animal. 
but they're doing pretty good over here. These were all wild caught that I imported into the US and then sent them over here. I really hope I can do something with these, but we'll see, we'll see. It's all, it's always a challenge to breed wild caught snakes. We've done it many, many times, but it's just not as easy as starting with captive bred. So we'll see what happens. And I might be able to get some more in my Indonesia shipment in June. And maybe I can get some more of these and send them from the US. They'll go Indonesia to the US and then US here to Malaysia this summer. So I'd like to get a few more animals. I feel like these are a little bit older. I'd like to get some more youth, youthful animals. So we'll see. And I'm looking for black ones too, the solid black ones. So. Sulawesi rat snakes. Okay, tiger rat snakes, Spilotes. I'm going to start with this one. This is a male that I hatched in the US from other captive bred tiger rat snakes. It's getting quite big, good size, but we'll see what happens. So far, we haven't had any luck with the Spilotes over here, but they're here safe and sound. They're doing pretty well. Wow, this snake is actually getting pretty big. Surprise. Very, very small when I hatched it. <laughs> so, so this is a male. My gosh, how do you go backwards like that? You reverse thrusters. Come on. Whoa, easy, 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 easy. This is a female that we raised from a tiny hatchling. So I think one more year, we're going to try her with my captive bred male. So she also herself was captive bred. So I am going to put those two together and see what happens. These are the younger of our group, the youngest of our group. So I have more faith in these because they're, they're young. The other animals to me, they look quite old. Uh, I don't know the background on them. So very nice snake. Okay, these other animals are big and rowdy. This one's in shed. I don't even know if I should go through this to show you guys because it's in blue, but It's a male. So uh, we'll just do this quick. It's not at its best anyway, so it's probably really not worth going through all that. And what else do we have? There's a male in here. I think this is a really big one. Oh, easy, buddy. This is probably not going to end well. But this is a big boy. Nice looking though, robust. All right, who's rattling the tail? <laughs> okay, okay. Oh, 
So that is a male. And then we have this female. At least I think it's a female. It's something that I should probably probe just to be sure because I sent a lot of animals over here and it's always possible for stuff to get mixed up. So that should be a girl. But I think I'm gonna probe before I leave, just to be sure. So that's good enough. You can head back. And I have one last one down here. At least I think I haven't shown this one. And this one's going into shed as well. Another male. I'm a bit male heavy over here. At least I think I am. So, and here's another one. But going into shed. So that is it for the tiger rat snakes. I might try to get another girl or two when I'm in the US and send those over here. I'm not 100% sure on that, but it's probably, probably would be smart to do, but, but we'll see. I don't wanna outgrow this facility. So there are gonna be some projects that I may have to cut back on just because I wanna keep it within reason. So we'll see, we'll see. Okay. So I think that's it for the main room for miscellaneous. Now I'm gonna take you guys into the quarantine room and we'll film the rest of the stuff in there and then we'll wrap it. So just a few more of the miscellaneous to wrap this up. We are in the quarantine room. We still have our wagglery. Uh, we have our female, female. Somebody in the comments told me that this was a female. It very well could be. It is starting to change color a little bit. So they are still in here. They are doing amazing. Possibly gravid. I've been eyeballing this one. It may be gravid, but they also could be just getting fat because they're really good eaters. Um, most of the stuff over here you guys have already seen. I did show you one of the hypsoscopus water snakes on the wildcat side. And then, oh, she's in shed. That one was a male. And then we have these two, we have these two females with their big gigantic heads, little stubby bodies. So let's see, maybe the other one is not in shed. This one's a bit bigger. And they are doing really, really well. Getting nice and fat, stout. So they are hanging out in here. They're going to stay in here. Boiga drapezii. This is an orange phase drapezii. A very young one, a very beautiful one. So. It is here in quarantine. And we have a couple of those that we set aside in here. And the other stuff I think you've already seen. Those you saw, that, that, that. Yeah, I think that's about it, about it you guys. I think that's a wrap. So anyway, everything in here is going to sit. We are leaving tomorrow. We are headed to Indonesia for the rest of our adventure. And I will not be back here, I think, until 
maybe at the end of April, but for sure at the very beginning of June. So our glass tanks will be in, the quarantine with all these guys will be complete. So any of the Boiga or specialized stuff, arboreal stuff, it'll be moving into the giant terrariums across the way in the main room, the big arboreal glass tanks. And then I'm sure we'll be moving a whole new group of animals into quarantine. And then our shipment will go out in June. I will see you guys at the expos in the US for July and August. And then in September, it's time to come back over here, back home, check on all this stuff and do it all over again for the whole rest of the year. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed it. We really wanted to give you a really good look at all this stuff that's going on over here. A lot of people talk, but very few people show and we're just trying to be transparent and show as much as you can. So I hope you guys appreciate it. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you in the next one. Take care.